Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in Code Fights Dark Wilderness Intro Arcade Digit Degree. Uh, anyhow, what are we doing here? Uh, that was quite an annoying intro. I apologize for that. Um, the task for this, I kind of misunderstood the first two times I read it. And finally, once I understood it, it wasn't too bad. The task here is we are given a number and we want to find out how many changes to that number. In, in this case, let's look at 91 where it, we can get it down to a single digit number if we split it up into single digits, add them back together, split it up into single digits, add it back together. So in 100, this is 100, which returns one, so it requires one change. And then here in 91, we get nine plus one, that's one change, that brings us to 10, that's still a double digit number. Then we get one plus zero, which is one, which brings us to two. So how many times do we have to change it to be able to return uh how many times do we have to change it to get a single digit number that's the goal here so let's get started by creating a count variable to keep track of those changes we're gonna start off by just setting equal to zero now if i did an if else statement here with a wall loop and in the if it says look if the number that we're getting to string dot length actually we don't even need to do it like that we could just say if n is less than or equal to nine, we could go ahead and return count. That's a better way of doing it, return count. Because if it's less than or equal to nine, it's a single digit number, right? Cool. Now, let's do our else, and I said I had a while statement here. I just use while true. This was just the simplest way for me to do it. And in here, we're gonna add one to count. And we're gonna set, we're gonna we're gonna convert our number into a string, break it up into a character, reduce it by adding it together, and then checking if the length is equal to one. And if it is, we're gonna break the for loop and at the end return count. Now, if it's not, we're gonna just let it go back and re do it one more time. So let's let's do all that. So we're gonna set n is or our string is equal to our our number. We're going to turn it into a string, and then we're going to split it up into an array. And then we are going to reduce it with the array callback function. And we're going to pass in a comma b. And this is going to allow us to return after we... Now, mind you, they're, they're integers now, so we have to parse the int. Or, excuse me, they're, they're strings, so we have to parse the int. And we're going to say uh, return parse int a plus b. And that's going to return a number. Uh, so n is now a number. Started out a number, turned into a string, turned into an array, added an array back into a number. n is a number. And so we're going to say, look, if n dot to string is uh, dot length is equal to one, meaning it's a single digit. Actually, again, we don't have to do that. We could just say n is less than or equal to nine. We can go ahead and break our break our wall loop and then at the end here we'll just return our count and let's run that and we're good so um, again probably a million different ways to solve this specific uh, this specific algorithm this is just how I solved it this was what made the most sense and you saw me here I actually cleaned it up a little bit compared to uh, to what I actually did, which was n dot two string dot length is equal to one. This makes more sense. This is already in a number form. We can just write logic to, to play off that instead of having to call additional string functions we don't need. But uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, support me on Patreon, join our Facebook page, Discord channel, and I'm sure there's a bunch of other stuff as well. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.